you happen to have a pumpkin lying around, grab it and have some fun. Coming up, a local expert showing us how to creatively carve a work of art. We're continuing our <laughs> I just can't do it. Content, continuing our Halloween show this morning with one of those important parts of the holiday pumpkins. Party excellent. <laughs> Expert pumpkin carver Danny Kissel is here with us this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I always wanted to be We're in a about Wayne and Garth. Right? <laughs> First of all, this is all pumpkin. This whole thing is pumpkin. That's ridiculous. Yeah. How do you do it? There's actually a piece of plywood down at the bottom, and there's steel structure inside. But these were all cut from a one single pumpkin. And then this is a pumpkin. This here is part of another pumpkin. This is a pumpkin. And then these were from an additional pumpkin. So there's about five pumpkins total there. The really cool thing about this is you do this with some pretty neat tools that not everyone uses to carve a pumpkin. Correct. Everything I have, I have a whole assortment of tools. Most everything I use is clay tools. Okay. I also use vegetable peelers. That's how I get the outside rind off whenever I'm doing okay. these. And then I just get down to smaller clay tools. And we also just showed a picture of you. You use a chainsaw. Yes, I do use chainsaw, too. Huh. Uh, the pumpkins have to be a lot bigger than these, obviously. That's like yes. box 43. Yeah. That's awesome. How long have you been doing this? I started doing this about five years ago after I saw it on the Food Network. I thought I would give it a shot and... I've been doing it ever since. Did you do other, like, wood carvings or something? Or I got into wood carvings or... actually about three years ago. Okay. Uh, this was actually the first form of sculpture I got into. Most of the time I had done, everything was flat. I had airbrushed, drew, everything like that. But sculpture was new for me, so I thought pumpkins was a good way to start. And you've actually been on a big TV show. Yes, I was on Halloween Wars on the Food Network. Really? That's yeah. awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> I told my wife and kids I'd be on there someday, and they laughed at me. But, yeah. And good for you. <laughs> Wow, that is really... So how long does it take to do something yeah. like this? The Fox 43 News Pumpkin I have about an hour, hour and a half in. Wow. The clown set in here I have about 11 hours in. Oh my god! I did these yesterday, so I was able to make them last for the, the show here. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to leave the Fox 43 room oh, with you guys yay. so you can have that for the rest of the weekend. Now, do, do you sell these? Do people... No, most of the time people pay me to go into areas and actually carve at an event. Oh, uh, I Very just got cool. in from Denver last week. Uh, I was in... Uh, Holland, Michigan before that. I was in Columbus, Ohio the week before that. And I leave for New York City this afternoon. Wow. You're a busy man. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, that time of year. Where can folks go to contact you if they want to, you know, have uh, you come? I'm everywhere. I'm on okay. Facebook, Instagram. Everything's under Danny Kissel. All right. So, and if not, you can find Kissel Studios. That's actually my business name. So you and can where, find me. And where are you living? I live in Newville, Pennsylvania. Okay. Well, All right. You used to throw in Pennsylvania in there. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We certainly appreciate it. Our pumpkins at home look so pathetic right now. <laughs> oh, cool. man.